Hey everyone, it's Keely Mary and welcome to my channel. Today we are in the airport because we are on our way to Saudi Arabia. This is actually my first flight in 10 years. I think the last time I flew I was probably like 16 or 15 or something like that. So this is kind of a new experience for me, um, flying as an adult. We've only had one flight so far today and I'm already so exhausted. We have two more flights left to go and we're waiting in the airport still for quite a few more hours until our next flight. We're still just in Canada. We're in Toronto right now. It's still got many, many hours of flying left. Anyways, that's it for now and I'll try to update you later. This was filmed on our first day in Saudi Arabia. As you can see, it was beautiful out. Unfortunately, I didn't really get a proper update until much later as I was just so excited and I was just really enjoying my time. So unfortunately, I will have to narrate some of these clips. You'll see in some of the clips that I was talking while I was filming, but for the rest, I'm just gonna narrate a voiceover. This is the first thing I'm trying in Saudi Arabia. It's called Sehlib. Excuse me for my pronunciation, but it looks really good. It's some kind of sweet drink. I'm not sure if it have, has caffeine in it, but it is warm as well. After picking up the Sehlib, my husband drove me around and he just showed me all these different places and I honestly thought everything just looked so beautiful. All the buildings to me just all look so unique and beautiful. Many roundabouts in Saudi Arabia have their own unique art piece. This one is designed to resemble a traditional tea thermos, which I thought was really cool. We stopped in at this fast food place. It's called Kudu. It's like a Saudi fast food. I got a chicken burger and some fries. And then my husband got, what is this? A foot long? Like a spicy chicken. It's my first meal here in Saudi Arabia. And also it's nice. They have like a private like family area. So if you want more privacy, you can like pull this curtain and we have like this booth here. After we ate, my husband then took me to the shopping center, and I know it might seem strange, but I just thought it was so beautiful, the design of it. It just, it looked so visually appealing, which I'm not really used to. And then the inside was also just as beautiful. Inside the mall, we found this store that had a bunch of Ramadan decorations because it was about a week before Ramadan, and I was just really excited to see all these decorations because we don't really have stores that do that in Canada, so it was just really nice to see stores that cater to Muslim holidays. I haven't really had a chance to update since the airport in Canada, so we are now here in Saudi Arabia. We've been here for about a week, maybe a little less than a week, but yeah, we're just still kind of like getting settled in, and I just haven't really had a chance to do a proper update, so I'm just doing that now. I didn't really explain, but we're here for over a month. Our main purpose of this visit is to visit family, so that's what we're doing, but we do also plan to do like a lot of like sightseeing. There's a lot of things that I want to see and a lot of places I want to go that my husband's going to take me to. Um, I just really want to experience like his culture, and like see where he grew up and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna give you like my general like first impressions. So first impression, um, we got here, it was really late so I couldn't really see anything. But the next morning we got to like drive around and honestly, it's so beautiful here. Like the buildings are just so aesthetically pleasing. Like everything is just kind of interesting to look at. Like none of the buildings are how in Canada, how they're all kind of the same. Um, whereas here in Saudi Arabia, they're all kind of like different. They all just have like an aesthetic look to them. I don't know how to explain it, but they're just so beautiful. I did also get to go shopping on my first day. There's honestly no shortage of stores here. There's malls everywhere. Everywhere you look, there will be a mall like in the city and stuff like that. So there's a lot of malls. There's so many coffee shops. I want to go to a coffee shop too. I also picked out a really beautiful, just like a black abaya. I love it. I feel so feminine in it. I honestly get why they wear it all the time because I just feel so feminine. I feel so put together when I put it on. Like, I don't know. It just something about just like these black abayas are so beautiful.
Also, I've been meeting a lot of new people and everyone is honestly so hospitable. Like everyone just wants to be like so generous to you. It's just, it's really beautiful to see that because we don't see that same level of like generosity in Canada. Sorry, I was just briefly interrupted. So that's why the lighting's a little bit different. Oh, another thing. When I first got here on my second day, uh, the girls threw me kind of like a little like get together and it was so cute, it was so sweet. Um, there was a bunch of food, there was there's a bunch of like presents and things like that which i wasn't expecting like i said everybody's so generous here but yeah i honestly i had such a good time and everybody makes like such an effort to make you feel welcome and to make you feel comfortable i always heard that people from saudi arabia are very generous and welcoming but i never really knew the full extent of it until i came here and met all these new people and I don't know, it's just, it's so incredible, honestly. This is our lunch for the day. This is lebna and honey. It looks delicious. And then this one is lebna and zatar. I'm really excited for this one. It looks so good. And then we have, this one has beef and this one's veggie. We're now in Qatar and we stopped in at, I think it's called Souk Waguf and it's like a, like a market. So we're gonna go check that out. It is pretty late now, but we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna see what all we can do. We just got here and it's so beautiful. Everything already looks so beautiful. I was not expecting this. We stopped in at this restaurant within the market and it's like this traditional restaurant and we actually have like like kind of like a private room in here and it's really cool and it's all like there's like these seats there's lanterns up there so we ordered meshkhul dajaj to share and then there's i guess like yogurt here and this is Matt Booch. <laughs> Hard to pick up on camera, but it looks so beautiful in person. There's some small vendors over here for food, and so we picked up some kahua and vespusa. So we left the 
market and now we're at the Doha Harbor and it's honestly so beautiful. You can see all these buildings behind me. And it's just honestly so beautiful. And then over here, you have the view of the city. But yeah, we're just gonna, I think, walk around for a little bit. I think we're just gonna explore and see what's over here. For anyone who might not know, the way that this man is carrying water is sort of like an old-fashioned traditional way of doing it. So basically, they would fill up the buckets and then attach it to this contraption and then just walk the way he is. I picked up some more food from a food vendor at this harbor here and so I'm going to show it to you now. So this here is cheese and zatir and this one here is Nutella and then we also picked up some tea. I got carrot. my husband got mint tea. And this is our view from the bench that we're eating at. We've just checked into our hotel. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because it is late. We actually didn't expect to stay the night, but we got in to Qatar so late and it's just not enough time to do everything that we want to do. So tomorrow we're going to get a few more things done and then we're going to head back to Saudi Arabia. But so far, Doha is such a beautiful city. There's just honestly so much to look at even and it's just, it looks so clean and like, I don't know, it's just, it's so unlike anything that I'm kind of like used to, especially in Canada. I know I keep comparing everything to Canada, uh, but honestly, it's just, it's so beautiful. So we were just driving around kind of looking at everything, and anyways, I am so exhausted. It's really late. It's like 2 a.m. I kind of just want to crash, and I will update you guys in the morning. It looks so pretty. Make sure to subscribe so you can check out part 2 where we travel back to Saudi Arabia and have a really fun adventure at an incredible historic site.